Hi Sagittarius, I'm Anisha and you can visit me on www.tarobayanisha.com and this is your monthly forecast for February 2012. We started this month by Mars going retrograde on January 23rd and the retrograde lasts till about 13th of April. It went retrograde in your 10th house. Now 10th house rules your reputation, PR, career, Mm, how is it that people view you, uh, how is it that at work you are looked upon at and uh, the retrograde is just about slow down the things for you. So uh, you may be feeling a, a bit of a, a, a restriction while you are dealing with uh, authority figures at work. You may be feeling a, a, a tad frustrated you know, uh, at your workspace and feeling you know this is, um, I deserve more than I am doing. I need to be doing uh, or I need to be getting far more than what I'm getting right now and uh, uh, along with it what has happened is the Neptune shift uh, Neptune has moved into your uh, fourth house now and which is also causing this little bit of a cure so a little bit of a haze the retrograde it's a great time you know it may not be a great um, place to be you know you may be feeling a bit uncomfortable as of now but it's a great time to be sitting and re-looking at your plans at your uh, workspace and since especially the retrograde has happened for you in your 10th house you should be uh, seeing or maybe improving your interpersonal relationships with people at work at uh, maybe improving more of your PR skills maybe networking more maybe um, even looking at uh, you know the space as to how is it that you can better your work or how it is uh, uh, more that you can add value really so um, use this time the retrograde time you know retrograde is a time when things really slow down and the slowdown is there for a purpose it's a time to give you a breather it's a time for you to uh, look at your look at the areas of your work where you know you have been running and have been at a fast fast pace and uh, it is now going to bring all those things under the scanner so it's a it's 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 a great energy to have really even though it's uh, very slow the neptunian energy in your fourth house which rules your um, home it rules your parents it rules uh, you know where you live how you live uh, where you want to live uh, whether you want to be staying there at all and um, do you want to make some changes do you want to be changing a location and uh, things like that so uh, with the neptunian energy being there it's going to you know you are going to be looking at more uh, deeper connections you're going to be looking at uh, uh, you know, um, you're going to be more spiritual. You're going to looking. You're going to be looking at more connectedness. You're going to be uh, wanting more out of relationships, out of close relationships, and uh, it's a good energy really to have in your fourth uh, house because it uh, it makes you look a lot uh, inwardly. It increases your creativity. It generally yeah. makes you want to focus on things more on a deeper level this is also time where you could be wanting to be near sea ocean maybe beaches take a holiday it's a, it's a it'll be very therapeutic for you water is very nice for you the neptune energy is there till 2025 so make good use of that energy it'll help you and um, have a great month i'll see you again in march and thank you for watching